Hi, good evening folks. In this video, the Sabre Zone is back. And this is the video where I discuss what you guys have to say. The shout out goes to Andrewzy. I'm sure I'm saying that right, Andrew. And he says this. We all thought it would go up with Jack and Sam, but it really hasn't. Bright spots, but not enough. Uh, for the very least, a playoff spot. I'm tired of watching other teams in the playoffs. And Andrew, we're all with you. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're all with you. We all want to see this team get into the playoffs. I'll tell you something I thought of too. I honestly believe this is going to happen. I do. And I'm going to, I'm going to put myself out there like I like to do once in a while. And I'm going to put this right out there. The first time the Sabres make the playoffs again and we recover from all this crap that's going on i predict they're going to win seven games in their first playoff they're going to have a good run their first time in that's how i feel so i'm going i'm on the record saying that they're going to win the first round and they're going to go to game seven in the second round before bowing out it's just how i see it so where we're at now is we don't we don't know what's going to happen this year None of us can say we know. We really don't know. We're kind of lost, if you want the truth. We're kind of in limbo. We have to see what happens with these trades. We do. We have to see if we're getting players ready, that, you know, NHL ready, right back at us. We have to see, because if we are, you know what I mean? If we are, then that changes the whole landscape of things all of a sudden. It does. That means the kids feel a little more free. And we have to see who, who leaves, who doesn't leave, you know, meaning Risto. Is he going to leave for sure? Probably. I think so. But we'll see. We don't know for sure. And if this is what can happen, if we can... Look at the Canucks last year. That's an example. Let's, let's look at the Canucks last year. I picked them as a surprise team in the West last year. I called that one right. You know who I picked in the East? No, I didn't pick us. I picked Detroit. I thought Detroit because of their strong finish the year before. I think they finished eight and one their last nine or something, you might recall. I picked Detroit to be a surprise in the East and they just tanked all year. <laughs> I was dead wrong about them, but I called the Canucks right. And I could see the Sabres being one of those teams next year. Uh, anybody can be a bubble team year to year. Anybody, anybody. Detroit could be next year. Ottawa could be next year. There's just no way to know. There's just no way. You know, doesn't mean we can't. Bubble team doesn't take too much, folks. It takes like a few games over 500 to hang around all year. It's, you know, it's not, doesn't mean we're going to have this team every year that's 20 games under 500. Come on. It's just not realistic to think that. So what I, what I think we'll do this upcoming season is if there is something happening and we're within eight points of a playoff spot at the trade deadline, I think the Sabres might go all in at the deadline to make a run at the playoffs, which they should. They should. That's when you want to have cap space open and draft picks available. That's when, because that's when we can make some noise and all of a sudden, let's face it, you now free agents, they don't care if they're a rental. They might see that they can do something special for a city, you know, it doesn't mean they're, they're, so what, they're gonna come here and what? They're, 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 they could just be a rental, it doesn't matter, you know? So this is where I stand with it. I'm definitely not writing us off for next year. But the heartbreaking thing about, you know, sick of seeing other teams in the playoffs, I, I, I relate to that so much. It almost seems wrong that the Sabres haven't been in the playoffs in so long now. It really, they're a forgotten franchise, which is sad when you consider like just what a solid franchise they were for so long, you know? So I'd like to see us just get in and kind of be the shock team, everybody. And I, I'll tell you this, all these haters will all be cheering a little bit for the Sabres if they got in because everybody would be surprised next year, right? Everybody would be surprised if the Sabres got in. God, I don't think anybody would expect that. Not saying they're going to, but I'm not saying they're not either. You know, it's one of those things where I don't know. I just don't know. It's been my experience over the years. I just, you never can tell year to year. You can't, especially in this era. Good God, look at the Kings in 2012. 
perfect example. The Kings, I wasn't even thinking about them even making the playoffs and they won the cup. There's no way to know. And that's the great thing about this era too. You get in the playoffs, you can win the cup. Just by getting in. That's the great thing. About, it's not like the old days where the favorites usually won out. It's not like that now. It's not. I'll leave it at that. We'll just see. Let's see how let's see how we finish out our simmer. Or let's I think pretty much we know we're probably gonna take power in the draft, I figure. But let's see what we do with these deals. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it's not that bad because I wouldn't want to be dealing with all you guys if we screw this up. We can't screw up these deals. Adams cannot screw up these deals. Just saying, you know. Okay, folks, on that note, I want to get on one more video for tonight. I want to catch the end of the game, and I'll see you folks in the next one. Have a good one.